welcome everybody welcome back to this small series uh today it is saturday so it is the sixth day of the series a week in the life of a european solidarity corps volunteer and yeah i'm quite dead that's what happens by the end of the week so it is uh 6 30 right now um i'm having breakfast of course it is tea and it is this pastry that i got from my spanish friend she found it in the supermarket and she said that she remembered eating it when she was young it looks like this and she said yeah like memories childhood take one so i took it and now i'm having it for breakfast let's see if it is tasty I mean, I don't like um, usually like supermarket stuff as in those um, pastries that come in packets because they always taste like plastic to me. But I mean, for supermarket, this is not this is not so bad. Outfit of the day is just plain white t-shirt because we have to wear that for the event. It is like a requirement. But I have done my hair in braids and they are so fucking long. Like, if I could show you some pictures of how long my braids were when I arrived here, they were like up to here. So it is 7.30 and I'm going to the bus right now. So the day is officially started. Look at that beautiful sky. All right. I am off the bus. The mission right now is finding the place where we have the event because I've never been there. So Google Maps is helping me and I hope I'll find it fast. I have a feeling that actually I will be there in advance, uh, like 30 minutes before I was supposed to be there because I was so afraid of not finding it that, yeah, <laughs> I decided, well, better safe than sorry. So I'll probably have to be there waiting alone uh, for 30 minutes before the other people come. All right, found the place. As predicted, I am early, so there's only these other people that I don't know that are setting up things, but this is not my volunteering project, so I have to wait for someone that I actually know to give me some indications of what my job is. So for now, I'm just sitting in a corner hoping no one questions me why I'm here. So, putting up this opening benches, opening tables, doing the things. We just put up this huge banner. Here, there are some activities for kids. <laughs> like, you know, the going around, jumping. No. <laughs> okay. Natalia will show us how it's done. <laughs> so talented! It's all coming together. And now we even have a concert. We have a rabbit. We have a baby. Okay. Waffles. The balls. The cake. Some spreads. Oh, I can write. Uh, Chernobyzowy jam. A to je wiskowe orzechy, orzechowa pasta. And here, pony mix, wiskowy orzysiek. Yeah! With bread. And then we got coffee, tea. Alright, so it's starting. And for now we have some games. <laughs> Animals. The babies. This is us with the fair trade food here there is an art station where they will be i don't know drawing painting and doing creative things here there are some other games still for children the jumping thing that i tried and i almost failed at so hard some more games irma <laughs> there there will be workshop here there will be workshop to make t-shirts 
with of course many kind of colors and this machine it's not t-shirt it's bags I, I, i'm stupid it is bags <laughs> <laughs> and it will look like this yeah broom yay Oh, and look at that. That is like my childhood dream coming true. They literally built this in half an hour and I don't even know like looks like it's made of paper and wood. It looks so cool. Hello. Hello. Reportage. Reportage. <laughs> it's important. Very serious. Hello. <laughs> It's 11. We are working, kids are here, we're having fun. And we are doing our best. We are doing our best. Hello, hello. It is around 12. I am leaving the event for the fair trade breakfast and I'm now going back to my town because in the afternoon there is a second event in my organization. So I will just have the time to get there really quickly and just join the second event right now. Okay, here we are running. The bus was late, I had a moment of panic, I thought it would never come. In the end it came. I just had the time to go home, drink a glass of water, now I'm going to the second event. I'm in the park right now, so yay. Here we have the second event. Here we will paint on children's faces and we will do some activities, again with balloons. There's candy, of course. And then, like in the other one, there will be some concert there and some places where people can buy like food and some other activities will be here in this park but this is a smaller place because this is a smaller town so less people and everything but I think it would be nice and here there is this activity where you have to take water in these sponges and then shoot it in the right spot and people who can do it really easily like the first try we'll get some candy We're almost to the end of the event, so now we are having a drink. <laughs> Hello, here we are. It is a quarter to five and we have finally finished working for the day. Uh, it was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed both events, both in the morning and in the afternoon. And I had different tasks in those two events, so it was not boring. Uh, and, you know, I had honestly a lot of fun. I love working with kids. And I, I'm, I'm glad that we could be outside today because it was really nice. The sun was shining, but it was not too hot. So it was it was really enjoyable, even though now my like my whole face hurts from having the like friendly smile to attract the children the whole day because you know when sometimes the um, children are too shy to approach your stand or to ask for the balloon that they desperately want then you have to look really friendly so they will come to you and oh, that hurts my face so much because for the whole day I'm just like And then I arrive at night, I'm like, Ugh. so yeah, destroyed. Now I have a couple of hours to just relax. Uh, I mean, not even a couple, honestly, it's like one hour and something to relax. Then um, in the evening, I will go to my friend's place and uh, we will watch Eurovision, I believe the plan is. 
Uh, I don't follow Eurovision at all. I've never done it, but this year it is in Italy. Some of uh, my friends are into it. And because of that, I think it would be just a nice uh, time spent together, even though I don't really care who wins or who loses. Yeah, I have to find some idea, some food, some thing that I can bring tonight. But it has to be something that I can either prepare in five minutes or something that I can buy already in the supermarket. So I have to think about it. I have to really concentrate. Uh, and also it has to be vegan because there's vegan people tonight. So, yeah. So I'll be thinking about that. But first I need like one hour to just relax and die on a couch. Like <laughs> so oh I'll go have my, my tea. I've missed my tea today. Hello, hello. There was a quick supermarket break. Went to Lidl. I actually ended up buying fruit, but I bought like a lot of fruit. We can make like some fruit salad as dessert. So happy with that. Now I'm going to my friend's house. Uh, I'm actually late, but they will wait for me because the party don't start until I get there. The fruit is going very well. And this is also going very well. Yeah. <laughs> Tell us about your, your work. It's beautiful mango! I love it. <laughs> I love it Picasso! I love it Picasso! <laughs> right, so, for science. This is my first time trying uh, Hershey's Kisses. Uh, first time ever. And we have just discovered they taste like sheep, sheep cheese. cheese. And how many people agree? One? Two. Three. Can I try? Kind of, yeah. What are we speaking Four. about? Four. It sheep cheese. It. This? No, it has, <laughs> milk. it has milk in it. Yeah, you yeah, should not eat like, that. No, but you That's can. why it tastes like sheep cheese. Yeah. So, yeah. There's fucking cheese inside of those. Whatever. Um, Americans, they are telling you lies. It is cheese. It is not chocolate. It is cheese. Smell like cheese. <laughs> we have five, five people out of five around this table think it tastes <laughs> like sheep cheese. So, so this is a small crime against humanity. Check pizza. Then why are you eating it? Because I'm you fucking hungry. I am. But there is I feel better because there is a biggest crime against humanity there. Yeah. Yes. What? Disgusting, ananas, <laughs> disgusting. All right, so we had some dinner and now we are <laughs> packing our snacks. Snacks, snacks. Cheers. Cheers. And we are going to watch Eurovision. <laughs> Here we are ready on Irma's bed. <laughs> this is the fantastic <laughs> setup. <laughs> With this computer, with animals. Uh, they are. Um, what it's called? <laughs> it's called a baby. Czech Republic, one out of ten. Romania, four stars out of ten because of the glitter and because it's fun. Portugal. Six, because even though I don't care for the song, they are cute. Finland, seven, because it's the closest to my taste it will probably get in this Eurovision. Switzerland, seven, because they found out an incredible fact that planes sometimes do fall from the sky. France. The only good part in this song was copied from Ukrainian song from last year. Therefore, a two. Norway, it's 11 for the concept, two for the song. Armenia, I'm going to say basic, but six. Italy, I'm going to give it a three because they did their best. Spain, two, not my type. Oh my. Netherlands, I'm going to say five because she knows vowels very well. So talented. 
Ukraine. I'm going to say eight, the best so far. Germany, I give it a five because I have emotional attachment to the song because it's the like 15th time I've heard it. Lithuania. Seven. I'm sorry, but like three gives me nothing, but she's cute. Azerbaijan, I'm going to say five. It's fine. Belgium, I'm going to say four because he can sing, but I don't like it. Greece, like four. They're cute, but that's it. Iceland, five. Just because it's a vibe. Moldova, seven for these icons. They're my love. Sweden, five. Australia, five. Four. United Kingdom, I'm going to give it a four for the hair. Poland. Four, because he can sing, but I don't like it. Serbia, five, just because. Estonia, five. So this is our uh, list. First point, uh, first place will be Sweden with 47 points between me and my friends. Uh, I don't agree with this list because for me, first place will be Ukraine. Uh, Second place will be Moldavia, Moldavia, Moldavia. The third place will be um, um, Finland. But this is our list for now. So, United Kingdom is getting so many points for no reason at all. I do not understand. Germany is the only country with zero points this is so disappointing UK leading what the fuck man let's go to Italy this is the Italian public vote now no like two get ready to receive we have like five zero zero Zero. One hundred and ten points. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, that's uh, very respectable. Uh, I think very nice. the one who's going to be the surprise is you, Greg. Yeah, I think you're great. Please, please, like four hundred. Maybe one hundred. Oh, bless you. Oh. Public vote, of course. And Ukraine. Oh. The public has given you. Oh. Please. No, Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Most important part. The Estonian flag right there. Okay, please go. Of the Eurovision Song Contest 2022. It will be Ukraine. No. 183 points. Okay, it's predictable. It has more than Sweden. Ukraine won. Good night. It's finished. It's been nice.